I didn't. Actually, no, that makes sense, right? Because isn't because Thun- um, Intel owns it, right? Yes, <laughs> I, I, I complete because it got like associated with Apple for so long and didn't ever really appear on anything else. I completely forgot about that. Yeah. So Apple and Intel own the Thunderbolt standard. Okay. Right. That makes sense. <laughs> so here we are, right? <laughs> like it would have been nice if years ago Thunderbolt did become a more common thing, but I guess we have USB C doing their different things. I mean, it's, it's the same now. thing that happened with Firewire. Yeah. Well, think about what happened with Firewire, <laughs> right? <laughs> IEEE 1394 didn't really take off because Sony made it Stop difficult it. for everyone Stop to that, have it. You don't know... Wait, say that again. You don't know the, the, the IEEE number for Firewire, do you? Yeah, IEEE 139, uh, 1394. 1394. Of course you know that. Dude, I spent years working in AV stuff. I'm going to know what the Firewire spec is. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> Look, okay, like at one point I did fan dubs, I did I did music production stuff, I did uh fan subbing and du- and and dubbing work. I did uh and I've done podcast stuff. I've done I like 10 years ago I was also a YouTuber briefly doing like mobile tech stuff. Like I do know my way around this things so even though it doesn't look like it and I don't do a lot of it now. That doesn't mean I don't know how it works. I, I always forget just how many things that you've gotten involved with. Like, and, or how many things you're involved with now. And if that's how many you're involved with mm-hmm. now, I guess there's probably a lot of stuff that you've just like left behind in the past as well. Yes, more or less. So but I, also part of it is like okay. my focus has changed. Mm-hmm. Like um, in, you know, 10, 15 years ago, I was more into telecommunications uh, than I was into into software stuff. Mm-hmm. And before that, I was more into AV production. So my first real interest, the thing that originally drove me to Linux, I think I've told you this before, was doing AV stuff. Mm-hmm. And and that was that was what like made me become interested in Linux in the first place. So mm-hmm. of course I learned a lot about AV stuff. And then later I got into telecom stuff because you know cell phones and all that stuff picked my interest. And then I graduated college and and went to go be a software engineer and so that happened and and here we are i we are. don't do software engineering either <laughs> i haven't been a software engineer in in a decade uh i was a devops engineer uh for a long time and then i was a sales guy Ooh. for like a hot minute <laughs> that sounds and like now here i am fun. i don't know what i'm doing but I'm, I'm i'm consulting i guess that's that's what i do now like, because I've got my own. Ah, uh, I did see that. Yeah. Uh, how's that going for you? Yeah. Eh. Eh. We'll see. <laughs> uh, I set it up at the end of last year, mm-hmm. uh, which is, in retrospect, not the greatest time to start something. No. But hey, uh, I had to do it at some point. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but the fun thing is, uh, it means that Halloween is always going to be the anniversary of the co- of the company. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, because that's that's when it got incorporated. Hmm. So, yeah, <laughs> it's a thing. Velocity Limitless is the company. I do stuff. Just... Um, I in and I'm involved in things, and I, you know, uh, it's a thing I do. I think that's a good way to describe your entire life. I'm involved in things. <laughs> well, I mean, I told you before. I do this because I feel like you know all this stuff has kind of given me a lot to work from and mm. to benefit from. And I try to help others where I can. And so I try to lend my skills and expertise as a way to give back what has been given to me. Right, right. So for anyone um, and, anyone who like may not have seen the, the last episode, I don't need a full list, please. We don't need to be here all day. But like a short list of the main things that you currently are focused on for anyone who's not aware. Now you got to rank them and think right. about the ones you want to talk about. <laughs> Right. So, um, I, in no particular order, because they will come to my brain as I talk, um, uh, in Fedora, I'm involved in Fedora Workstation. I lead Fedora KDE. I lead Fedora Sahi. I'm involved in Fedora Cloud. Uh, I'm somewhat involved in Fedora Server. Um, I'm involved in, I, I'm part of uh, Fedora Python Go, fa- co founded Fedora Rust. Uh, 
and a few other things here and there. Like there's a, I'm also helping out in Fedora looks cute, uh, Fedora budgie, um, and and a few other things that are going to be coming down the pipe in the next uh, few weeks or months. Um, and in CentOS, I am the ch- co-chair of the CentOS Hyperscale SIG along with uh, Davida Kalvika, uh, Kavalka, Kaval. Yep, I think that's right, Kavalka, Kav. Cal Cavalca. Yes. I, I have I, I David is gonna see this and he's going to wonder why I'm stumbling over his name. And it's just I'm sorry, dude, but like every it, in my head the the syllables just jumble up in their emphasis and it screws me up. Mm-hmm. Uh but uh Davida and I are co-chairs for the CentOS hyperscale SIG. Um I also help out with Fedora and CentOS infrastructure. Um, I am also doing some, I, you know, I help out with the CentOS alternative images, which produces live media based on CentOS stream with the various desktops. Mm-hmm. Along the lines of the spins that you have in Fedora, this is what the alt images sig provides for CentOS people. Mm-hmm. Um, it's actually really new. They, they spun up and, and, and produced their first artifacts in February, and they just made their first update release um, actually last week. Um, so... Uh, uh, that's a thing, you know, sigs.centos.org slash altimages. Um, let's see, what else? Um, so that's CentOS and Fedora. And in OpenSUSE, I'm a member of the OpenSUSE board. I am involved in the uh, project management for OpenSUSE Leap. Uh, I contribute to OpenSUSE Leap and Tumbleweed. Uh, I maintain a bunch of packages. I mean, I also maintain a bunch of packages in Fedora, too. That goes without saying. But, like, um, and uh, and then I guess I help out with OpenSUSE Kalpa. Um, so Sean Dunn, who's the guy who leads OpenSUSE Kalpa, which is formerly OpenSUSE Micro OS Desktop with KDE Plasma. Oh, that's such a bad name. Uh, I'm glad it changed. <laughs> look, I it's a mouthful. I am I am happy that this is Kalpa now. I will fun fact about Kalpa. Kalpa and Aeon are in rough synonyms. Aeon is, of course, the Greek word for millennium, mm-hmm. and Kalpa is roughly translated to millennium in English uh... because it effectively is considered the same as an Aeon in Sanskrit. Uh... So, okay. I think it's like 4.2 billion years is what the mathematical representation of a Kalpa is. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, like how people say you'll be remembered for millennia in, in India languages, people will say you'll be remembered for a Kalpa. So it's like the same thing. Right, right, right. <laughs> So, um, so Kalpa is the KDE one, and Aeon is the GNOME one that's run by Richard Brown. Um, and, uh, okay, going down the list further, uh, Magia, I contribute packages to it. I'm technically part of the Magia Council, as well as the Magia Org Board, which is the association that actually owns the project. Um, I am also a member, a, a, a packager contributor to Open Mandriva. Mm-hmm. I have contributed to Rosa Linux, I have con- which is um, a fork of Open Mandriva. I have contributed to Yocto briefly. Some of my patches are still there, I think. Um, uh, let's see, what else have I done? Um, I've done some stuff in Debian and Ubuntu. Um, my name shows up a little bit there. Um, and of course, more recently, I've gotten involved in free desktop stuff, Wayland protocol reviews and, and things like that. Um, and this is your fault, Brody. Mm-hmm. I blame you. Okay. I am, I am running for being on the, on the XORG board. Oh, wow. Have you actually not looked since you, have you not actually looked at that page since you made that video? There's a you lot should of things. go look. Wait, uh, XORG board, uh... Board of Directors. XORG Board Elections 2024. Board ele- okay, thank you. Yeah, I've not looked at it since then. I assume there are people actually running now. 